Hopefully I look semi-presentable and you can't really hear the five-year-old screaming to march downstairs, but I've got a really fun video for you, so I really wanted to film it even though it is Friday afternoon and I've just got home from work. So a couple of days ago I became very, very intrigued by the new reformulated Dior lipsticks. So we're talking about the Dior, Dior Rouge Dior lipsticks, uh, specifically their mattes, like their velvets and their satins, which were very recently reformulated. Uh, this is not a new thing for Dior. They've been reformulating a lot of their makeup uh, in attempts to become a more clean beauty brand, whatever the hell that means. I don't know. I know that they've sort of ruined their eyeshadows because from what I've heard, people are not super fond of their <laughs> reformulated new queens and I'm so glad that I have soft cashmere in the old formula and with the old colors. I watched, I want to say, Sophia Sees Beauty demo the old soft cashmere versus the new one and they were not even the same colors and I know that that can happen with uh, even different batches of the same like palette but it, they were so different that I don't even know that I would have liked the new soft cashmere as much as I love the old soft cashmere. Anyway, as usual I took off on a tangent that nobody cares about. We're here to talk about the uh, reformulated lipsticks. Now, the reformulation in order to become a more clean formula really isn't what attracted me to these lipsticks. To be honest with you, I don't really know what exactly attracted me to these lipsticks. I think it's a combination of I really love the new look of the lipsticks um, and I was maybe like subliminally like there was something incepted in my mind because I've been seeing Anya Taylor-Joy's face splashed all over like bus stops on my way to work. Uh, at least when I could still bike to, to work, pretty much on every bus stop that I passed with my bike, there was uh, some sort of an advertisement for these new lipsticks. And they just look so beautiful on everyone that I became very intrigued. So I've ordered one of the new velvets and one of the new satins. And I want to open by saying that I'm not at all versed in your lipsticks. I only even purchased my first Dior lipstick ever a couple of months ago off of recommendation of Martina Lilly. She was talking about this color which is in their more like balmy formula. It is the shade Tartan which I'm also going to swatch for you. Since you were going to lip swatch uh, Dior lipsticks I might as well also swatch Tartan for you. But I was very intrigued by this color because um, she kept saying that it's such a beautiful autumnal color and that really is uh, the case. Uh, Tartan is the most beautiful like cinnamon brown warm shade. It is very similar to Cinnabar from Lisa Aldridge, so for me it wasn't really like a revelation in terms of the color. I love this sort of color, so I have a lot of them. So in, ter in terms of color this wasn't very unique, nor was it very unique in terms of the formula. But the packaging is really exquisite and I do like the formula, I do like the color. I wear these kind of colors a lot, so I am going to enjoy Tartan quite a bit. I haven't actually unpacked the new lipsticks, I have no idea what they look like, whether I ordered colors that would suit me and would be a little bit more... Uh, you know, unique to my collection because, and that's the one thing that I really was quite upset about when I was trying to choose a color. For the life of me, I could not find anywhere, not even on the Dior website itself, descriptions of the colors of these lipsticks. I could find only a few of them uh, with a proper description to them and a proper description wasn't even a proper like color description it was some sort of like poetic bullshit that didn't really give me any substantial you know information as to what color exactly is it that I'm getting. Is it a rosewood? Is it, is it a classic blue based red? Is it a warm orange red? Nobody can say because the information is not to be found. So I purchased these lipsticks off of Easy Putty XL for my duchess here. I managed to buy them with 25% off, which is really good because from what I understand, they're even a little bit more expensive than the older uh, version of these uh, same lipsticks. So now they are uh, on Easy Putty and Douglas about 52, 53 euros. And I bought them 25% off. Now, interestingly, if you go onto the Dutch Dior website, they are 49 euros. So. I'm assuming there's a little bit of an added price there for Easy Putty and Douglas, but at the same time, I don't know that you can find these 25% off on the Dior website, so there's still a better deal if you wait for a sale uh, on one of these other websites. So on these other websites, there were literally no color descriptions for any of the lipsticks. You sort of had to take your best guess based on pictures online. And while they do provide lip swatches of each of the colors um, on both of these websites, I found that sometimes lighting can play such a trick on you that a lipstick swatch on a website can be very far from reality. So I kind of knew what colors I was getting into, but not quite. 
So let's start off with the colors that I actually purchased. So from their setting formula, I bought the shade 720 uh, Icon or Icon, I'm not really sure whether they're supposed to be pronounced in the French way or the English way because the other shade that I bought is definitely named after an English word. So I'm not really sure what how I'm supposed to pronounce it, but um, let's say it's Icon, 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 whatever. So the packaging of this lipstick truly is very luxurious. It is very hefty in the hand. It has the um, Christian Dior logo here. It has some beautiful silver detailing here on the component and then the, the, the packaging is actually magnetic. It is very very different from the other one that I have because uh, the other lipstick you, you kind of have to like pull out like this. It's also very hefty but it's a completely different style of packaging which I'm assuming has a lot to do with the formula of this lipstick which is much more of your classic uh, tinted lip balm divinyl like think Pat McGrath divinyl type of formula. Whereas this I'm assuming is something closer to a maybe luxuriously loosened from Lisa Aldrich, I'm not sure. But uh, the packaging is truly beautiful and also from what I understand these are, like these components are refillable. So you can basically, if you finish the lipstick or you don't like the color, you can uh, refill the same component with whatever other color, you know, your heart desires. From what I understood, at least from what I could gather online, this is supposed to be a like nude rosewood type of color. And this is how the satin lipsticks look like. They have uh, also, I think, Dior imprinted into the actual bullet of the lipstick. This looks like an actually beautiful color, but I'm so curious whether it looks at all similar to stuff I already have. Let's first swatch it on the back of my hand to feel the formula. It feels very smooth. I bought this lipstick with the idea that maybe it will be uh, the satin version or like the luxuriously loosened version of the lipstick that I actually have on right now. So right now I'm wearing a uh, blush from Lisa Eldridge, Velvet Blush, which is one of her mattes. And Velvet Blush is exactly that. It's like a rosewood type of color. It is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite nudes as of late. And if I just hold up the lipstick next to my lips like this, I can see that there is a little bit of a rosewood tone in there. Um, but obviously this is going to be much less opaque once it goes on the lips. And I think there's maybe a bit more red in here, whereas maybe there's a bit more like purpley pink in here. But this is just speculation. Let me take off blush now so that we can apply Icon. So this is a lip swatch of Icon. First things first, these are scented. I can definitely smell the scent uh, right now and I can even almost like taste it. But I have the same experience with the other Dior lipstick that I had purchased a few months ago. So I know, I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew that these were not the non-scented type lipsticks. It went on the lips really beautifully, it glided on, it provided instant pigmentation. It feels very lightweight on the lips and I like that it's not too glossy. By comparison, the one that we're going to swatch in a little bit, the shade Tartan, is quite much glossier. And I actually think this is a very pretty color that I don't really know how to describe. I don't think I have anything quite like this color, if I'm being honest with you. I'm not even entirely sure how to properly uh, describe this color. So I'm actually going to swatch blush right here next to the swatch that I did for uh, Icon so that we can compare the two. Um, like I said, I feel like there's a little bit more purple in here, whereas there is a little bit more like rosy warmth running through here. But it is not a it, it has a little bit of like red tones to this. At least on me, there's definitely a bit of like a red thread running through the tones of this lipstick, but it is not a red. It is a beautiful shade. I actually love the color of this lipstick. This for me falls under the perfect category of like a nude, like a deeper sort of nude 
that is not too light on the lips but it is also not too vibrant and too colorful so on days when you don't really want to wear like a bright red or a bright fuchsia or something but you want to still have a bit more color to your face this would be perfect uh, something else that i wanted to mention is that i actually quite like the bullet i don't know if you can see it is very pointy so it makes it quite easy to outline your lips at least for me i quite like the shape of this lipstick now before we move on to swatching the new velvet lipstick formula so the matte one i am going to swatch tartan for you because obviously tartan is much easier to get off and i think i want to wear the other lipstick a bit more uh, after i'm finished with this video so i'm going to apply tartan for you now actually i'm first going to swatch right here as you can see tartan is a beautiful glossy sheer cinnamon warm brown the lines may be wonky because this is a very creamy lipstick and i ain't applying lip liner right now but you can also immediately see how much glossier and how much more like a tinted lip balm this applies it has a lot of pigmentation to it do not get me wrong but it certainly has qualities that put it more in the category of a lip balm lip tint type of thing um, unfortunately this formula being this glossy i just wanted to mention that very quickly if i don't properly apply any sort of like anything to prevent the bleeding will bleed around my lip lines but i have very bleedy lip lines a lot of like creamy type formulas think of something like even the um, satin allures from pat mcgrath labs will bleed on my lip lines i don't really know what's in the formula because i have certain formulas that are creamy but will not bleed for example the luxuriously loosened from lisa eldridge you can build up to be basically this shiny and they never bleed on me whereas the ones from pat mcgrath labs the divinyls and the satin allures uh, they tend to bleed a little bit on me and that is also the case for a tartan from Dior. This one also bleeds a little bit on my lip lines. That's something that I'm rather used to. I don't really mind and I have, you know, work around, work surrounded, but just wanted to mention it in case you struggle with that and it's important information for you. So here is Cinnabar, which is your classic autumnal warm brown to me these are quite similar in the sense that they're both that beautiful uh warm toned brown now i will say this though if you look at cinnabar it it has a little bit more pink tones this certainly has more orange in it and finally i am really really excited to open the um matte formula so i think they're called the velvets this is the shade uh, 866 together that one was rather a gamble because based on the website i couldn't really tell whether it's a red or like a deeper nude kind of color uh, but it looked absolutely beautiful the packaging is exactly the same as with the satin so in terms of like outer packaging you can't really tell which one is which they're indistinguishable from each other but as soon as you open it you will immediately notice the difference these new dior lipsticks very much have that same velvety enveloping as do the velvets from lisa eldridge but i mean lisa eldridge did it first so if you compare the bullets of the two lipsticks i hope that it's coming across that they have this like very interesting textured enveloping around the bullet and they're quite similar to each other uh, in that sense i just find that it looks so interesting and so like cushiony and inviting and this one has the dior uh, logo again in printed into the bullet now in terms of a color let's give this a swatch because i'm very intrigued it certainly looks a little bit like a red this looks a bit maybe like a desaturated red something like maybe enchantment or bloom from lisa eldridge we're going to compare in a bit but i'm just super curious to apply this on my lips The lip lines are getting wonkier by the minute but oh my gosh this is a beautiful color now that it's on my lips i think we can clearly agree on the fact that this is a red lipstick but it is a very interesting red i don't know if i have anything quite like it it is a deeper desaturated red it reminds me a little bit of enchantment from lisa eldridge but enchantment is much lighter in tone so it doesn't have that kind of like depth to the tone i'm going to swatch it in a little bit i'm going to pull out a few of my reds to compare because i'm just very intrigued by this color but also now that i have it on my lips i have the feeling that icon 
so the satin that I swatched earlier sort of has a similar note to it. Shall we just swatch them next to each other? So this is Icon and this is Together. Okay, this has a little bit more pink in it and it obviously is in the setting formula so it's much less saturated. And uh, maybe let's like briefly talk about the formula of the velvet. The formula of the velvet is absolutely delightful. At least the way it went on was really lovely. Uh, it is a matte lipstick but it certainly has a little bit of that glidey quality to it that helps it to not thug along the lips and it doesn't feel very drying. Like I have it on right now, obviously I can't really tell you how it wears because a lot of these matte lipsticks will apply in this way and then they will like sort of like start to get drier throughout the day so I can't really make any comments on how this is going to wear throughout the day right now or how it's going to hold up um, you know as a matte lipstick it's supposed to hold up a bit longer than a satin but you never know so I'm very curious how this would hold up throughout the day I'm definitely going to test both of these lipsticks uh, out and about when I go to work next week but in terms of a, a color, I think this is really beautiful and such a flattering shade of like a deeper desaturated red. Now, let me go grab a couple of reds from my collection that we could possibly compare this shade to. Let's see how close Enchantment from Lisa Eldridge is. Okay, at least on a swatch, again, Enchantment seems to have a little bit more pink to it, but also once it's on the lips, Enchantment takes on a much more like almost like a desaturated coral red vibe to it. It's not a light kind of color, it has depth to it, but it is much lighter in tone compared to Together and on my lips it almost um, has a bit of a coral note running through it. I can't really quite describe this color, but you can also see on the uh, arm swatch that they are not all that similar to each other. I'm going to swatch uh, Velvet Bloom as well, although I think Velvet Bloom has so much more pink tones to it, but it has a little bit of that same desaturated note. No, this is much more, this has much more like purpley pink tones to it. This is a completely different shade. And I've also grabbed my beloved Rouge 8 from um, Pat McGrath Labs, but again, I think Rouge 8 is much, of a, much more of a brighter terracotta red. So here is a swatch of Rouge 8 and this is together. I think again they are really not all that similar to each other, especially on the lips. This uh, translates so much more vibrant, whereas this has, you know, a depth and a desaturatedness to it that I can't quite describe. Almost like there's a bit of a brown red hint in here. Such a beautiful color, I really like it. And I'm sure you're curious how the formula of the Dior lipstick compares to the velvets from uh, Lisa Eldridge and the matte trans from Pat McGrath Labs. I think these two are more similar to each other in the sense that they, um, they also have that velvety feeling to them. They also have a bit of that like silicone slip when you apply them so there's no tugging. They feel they glide on very easily on the lips. But these two formulas almost have a bit more of like a substantiality to them, if that makes any sort of sense to you. This is a little bit more lightweight on the lips. And the same goes for the satin lipstick. That also applied on the lips in a very like lightweight manner. I'm sorry guys, I have to keep interrupting myself because in the late afternoon we have a, like this very weird sunlight that comes into our bedroom and while it makes for a very interesting effect in my video, it is extremely inconvenient if you want to do lip swatches of things. Uh, so you will probably see a lot of cuts in this video, that's mainly because I have to stop every time the sun comes up. Anyway, I'm actually going to just wrap it up because uh, the conclusion from this is I'm very happy with both lipsticks that I purchased. I love both colors, I'm really impressed at how like unique and um, elegant both of these colors look on the lips. I can't wait to wear them out and about and have a bit more of a full formed opinion once I've worn them a bit more and I have had the opportunity to like really think of lipsticks that are similar in my collection. I mean not that necessarily we need to find something that's similar but just in case you were curious what in your collection may be similar to these colors I wanted to give you a heads up. Right now I can't really think of anything that is exactly the same as these lipsticks. Are they similar to other things? Yes they are. Are they the same? No, they ain't. So I'm very happy to say that I um, scored relatively unique colors even for someone with a substantial lipstick collection like moi. I don't of course know what the reformulation means in terms of how long these lipsticks are going to actually survive because um, I've literally never had to throw away a lipstick because it went bad on me. I have Urban Decay lipsticks literally from the end of 2015 or tw no 2016 I think they came out in no they came out in 2015 because the Gwen Stefani collection 
I think was released in the end, like around the holidays of 2015, and those were the original Vice lipsticks, and I have a several of those lipsticks still in my collection, and I still use them, and they're still fine. So I'm very curious whether this new reformulation and the direction towards clean beauty will also mean that these are not going to last as long, so I'm going to make sure that I uh, get enough use out of them, but other than that, I think they are gorgeous. I don't know what the old packaging looks like or how it feels in the hand, but these definitely feel very substantial and very luxurious. Areas. So you're paying for both the beautiful formula, the elegant colors, and the luxurious packaging, and I do really love the fact that they are refillable. So, all in all, very happy with my purchase. I hope that you enjoyed this little impromptu lip swatch video of these new Dior uh, Rouge reformulated lipsticks. I'm very curious whether you have picked up any of those. Which colors? Do you have recommendations for colors that you find really unique that might not be easy to find in other, you know, brands' collections? Let's chat about your lipsticks in the comments. I'm very excited to hear your thoughts about it. As usual, thank you so much for watching, and I We'll see you in the next one. Bye!